Hey, hello, IOD magicians. Welcome again in another demo. Uh, when I posted my earlier demo on Zigbee, where I was showing how do we establish the communication between two Zigbees using only one ESP8266, on that I got uh, many queries and uh, many were asking me, is it possible for us to do the same, to establish the same communication using Bluetooth module also? means using SC05 module also. Yes, uh, IoT magician, this is quite possible. And in today's demo, this is what I want to show you. And I want to uh, give this explanation that yes, this is true for SC05 also. The Bluetooth module also, you can establish the communication uh, as the same way as I had done in my previous video on Zigbee. If you have not seen that video, you can watch that video. The link is there in the description of this video. So you can go ahead and check the Zigbee version also. But here I'm going to show you that how can we establish the communication between two Bluetooth module using only one ESP8266. So here, uh, as you can see that this is uh, the blue, first Bluetooth. So here, this one is the Bluetooth, first Bluetooth. And here I have another Bluetooth. So this is uh, the master uh, master setup. I have done the master setup on this Bluetooth, which will act as a sender. And here, the other Bluetooth, I have set it up as a slave module. And this will be the receiver module in this case. Every five seconds, the master module sends some data to the receiver module. And this is being received by the receiver module every after five seconds. Whenever this master module sends any data, here this LED, blue LED glows, and as soon as the receiver receives the data, here the green LED glows. So this shows that these two Bluetooth are communicating with each other using only single ESP8266. So let me explain you how I have done this connection schemes here. The sender uh, uh, Bluetooth module means this, the master module, has been serially connected to the ESP8266. This is exactly the same as we had done in our Zigbee. In our previous case, Zigbee coordinator or the Zigbee sender was connected serially to ESP8266. Here also, the master Bluetooth module has been connected serially to ESP. Similarly, in my previous video, I had shown you that Zigbee receiver or the Zigbee endpoint was also connected serially to ESP8266. Here also, in this case also, the receiver, the slave module of Bluetooth, it's, this is also connected serially with our ESP8266. So what happens? This ESP8266 sends serial data to our master module. As soon as this master module receives the data, this sends the data over Bluetooth to our receiver Bluetooth module or the slave Bluetooth module. As soon as this receiver or this slave module receives the data over Bluetooth, it communicates with ESP8266 using the serial communication and the, the data can be printed by this ESP8266. So the scheme is exactly the same. The connection scheme and the logic is exactly the same that we had applied for Zigbee. In the previous case, we were using Zigbee as, uh, as the protocol for data transfer. But here, in case of HC05, we are using the Bluetooth protocol to send data from our uh, master module to our slave module. And magicians, uh, now I will switch off uh, the lights of my room so that you can easily see that the data communication is happening and uh, these uh, LEDs will glow properly you can see that so i have switched off my light so you can see that let me switch off this light as well yes so it will be easier for us now to check so when this blue light is glowing means our bluetooth is sending the master module is sending data and when the other lights here the green light is glowing here on the slave side, it means it is receiving, Bluetooth is receiving the data. So you can see that the, the sending and receiving is properly happening between these two SC05 module. 
so once it is every 5 second this blue led is glowing this way and now green is glowing so sending and receiving is happening between two bluetooth devices using one esp8266 and magician if you want to see the serial monitor let me show you the serial monitor as well let me pull the serial monitor here and let me clear it so that you can see that what's happening with the serial monitor so you can see that uh, it is sending the data is sent and received as well so here you can see it sent 13 and received 13 so it will send again so you can see that sent 82 and received 82 sent 4 and received 4 sent 71 received 71 and you are seeing that every 5 second the master module is sending the data it is glowing the blue led and at the same time the receiver module or the slave module is receiving data over bluetooth and our green led is glowing up over there so this uh, way you can see that uh, it is uh, working properly so magicians if you need uh, any further information on this definitely i will set up a detailed session on this but if you need uh, this uh, code behind it or if you need further detailed explanation on this let me know in the whatsapp in my whatsapp or ask me in the facebook group or you can ask under the comment section of that all my facebook group and my whatsapp number is already mentioned in the description of this video so from there you can get it and uh, you can make use of this so iot magicians take care of yourself soon i will set up the detail session on this and you take care of yourself have a wonderful time ahead and arigato